one day we went looking for a member referral and uh, he wasn't home and so we taught his cousin instead and um, and at that time in our mission if somebody did not accept to be baptized on the first lesson we were not allowed to go back and teach them again it was we would teach we would teach them the first lesson invite them to be, to be baptized and if they said no we wouldn't go back unless they had come to church that week and so when we taught we taught this first lesson to this guy and he said i got to think about it and we're just like oh everybody says that he's you know he's not actually going to think about it and my companion said okay think about it we'll come back tomorrow and i looked at him like what do you mean we'll come back tomorrow that, that, we're not supposed to do that but he was senior companion and so i'm just like okay whatever we'll come back tomorrow and so we ended up going back two days later. I don't know why we didn't go back the next day, but we went back two days later and he opened the door and he said, elders, can I still be baptized on the 7th of, when was it? July? He asked us, can I still be baptized? And we're like, wow, like that wasn't what we were expecting. Um, and so we sat down with him and taught him uh, just we started teaching him everything and this guy we, we gave him a Book of Mormon on that second lesson um, it was the 24th of July that he got the Book of Mormon that's what it was yep and a couple lessons later we started teaching about the Word of Wisdom actually he taught himself about the Word of Wisdom we gave him a pamphlet the day before to read up on and and so he he and then we'd come in the next day and he would teach us everything that he had learned and it was great like he was the easiest investigator ever because we didn't have to teach him anything he just taught himself um, and so then he he comes in and he tells us on the day after we gave him the word of wisdom pamphlet and he says okay these are my problems and he started listing off all the problems he had with the word of wisdom which were pretty much all of them <laughs> um, including lots of heavy, heavy drugs. And, and he said, the day that you gave me the Book of Mormon was the last day that I've used any of these substances. And uh, we gave him some replacements for coffee and for tea. Um, I, I mean, really, there's no replacements for drugs or alcohol. <laughs> but, um, but we told him, look, this Book of Mormon that you have it's powerful and we promise you that if you read the Book of Mormon every time you have the urge to break the word of wisdom that you won't that you will receive the strength that necessary to overcome this temptation and he did uh, every time he felt the urge to go out and get some crack he would grab the Book of Mormon instead and I mean some days we would come back and he would have read like 50 pages just because I guess he had lots of temptations to go use drugs, but it was great because he actually understood everything that he had read and he would, he would just tell us everything that he had read in the previous like seven or eight chapters that day. And, uh, and he was baptized several weeks later and still in, he doesn't be because of the book of Mormon, he was able to overcome all of those temptations. Um, and not since, not since the 24th of July of 2011, has he broken the word of wisdom because of the Book of Mormon, because of the promise that we gave him that not really, that what we didn't give it to him, but um, really it's the Lord's promise that as we seek to, uh, to, to read his words and that he will give us the strength that we need to be righteous and to follow his commandments.